Hi, everybody, we're back. My next guest tonight has been doing stand-up comedy since he was 14 years old. He's about to start his eighth season on Mad TV. He's also got this brand new comedy CD called I Ain't Scared. Please welcome Ari Spears. <laughs> Nice to have you. Hey, and you're all, you're iced out. Yeah, I got my, uh... I'm my, learning. I'm yeah, learning every day. I got a little bit of platinum, a little bit of gold, so I got, like, my Mr. T starter kit on. <laughs> so I'm good. I'm Start good. slow and work your work way your up. Work your way up to the bling bling. Do I pity the fool. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> now, um... You do a Tyson impression. And uh, there are people out there that do their Tyson impression, but you did a Tyson impression for Mike right. Tyson, to his face. <laughs> Describe that move. experience, because I don't think there are many people brave enough to do that. Well, it was funny, I, I, I did this sports show called The Best Damn Sports Show, right. and uh, Tyson was a guest, and I always said to producers, I said, look, if you ever have Mike on, you gotta have me on. I wanna meet him, let him know you still got a fan in your corner. So long story short, I'm sitting on a panel, it's me, Tyson, John, Sally, right. and uh, you know Tom Arnold, and we're all sitting up there, and Tom Arnold puts me on the spot and says, hey Mike, Aries does a great impression of you, Aries, do it. And usually when I do celebrity impressions for the actual celebrities, they always say the same thing. Oh, I'm very flattered. That was right, nice. Right, Thank right, you. Right. With Mike, it was weird because I did the impression and I was like, you know, I love boxing and everything that it's done for me. But sometimes <laughs> I get very tyrannical with the media, which is why I get upset with you. <laughs> and after I did the impression, it was like he was kind of laughing, but he wasn't. <laughs> And then he had like this snarl on his face yeah. and after about two seconds he said, you know, if you did that seven years ago, I would have chased you down the street and punched you in the face. But based on where I'm at in my life right now, I'm very flattered, thank you. And after he said it, I was, I was, after he said it, I was cool, Right. but I peed a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't a, a big stage, just a drop, but it changed my life, it changed my life. Just a little bit. A little That's bit. incredible bladder control. Um, <laughs> He'll now, do that to you. Now, Mike Tyson uh, just lost, got knocked yeah. out. It looks yeah. like it might. What do you think happens to him now? You know, I think right now Mike is like an official bum. I, you know, and I, as much as I love him, I think the naked cowboy in Times Square could beat him right now. Right, right. <laughs> I just think people should still just let the man fight. I don't care how far down the hole he goes. Because think about it. When he bit Evander Holyfield's ear, he had millions. Do y'all really want him on the streets, broke, loose, and mad? Yeah. <laughs> Keep him busy at Keep all busy times. busy at all times. Man, all times. Give him chores and Give tasks. Give him something to do, man. Something. I don't care what it is. Just keep his mind off us. That's <laughs> okay. it. Model airplanes. Anything. Anything. Animal, animal balloons. Anything. Anything. Okay. <laughs> Now, uh, we've been talking about uh, kids tonight. Jada yeah. Pinkett Smith talking about yeah. her kids. You have a, f a yeah. daughter? Got a five year old daughter, man. Oh, very nice. Is it, is it tough or easy when, at that age for, to have a child, do you think, to be a dad? You know what, man? The discipline factor is like, it's funny because as a kid, you always grow up saying, I'll never do to my kids what my parents did to me. And it's not until you become a parent that you actually understand. Because, you know, I, I was bad. My mother used to knock me out, you know? And I, I got to say, you know, white kids have a very good advantage. Y'all get all kind of timeouts in special places. And <laughs> black kids don't know nothing about timeout. We just know about getting knocked out. That's it. <laughs> My mother used to hit me, and I have a bowel movement. I mean, it was serious. <laughs> and it, it's weird, too, because I, I found out... So the bladder control is better than your control of other IC. Yes, yes. Yeah, Between okay. Tyson and my mom, everything was shut down. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... <laughs> It's interesting, man, because as you, as you grow up, I, I recently, I, I just kind of found out, like, you know, white kids, it, it, it's, it's very different. Like, y'all, y'all get different kind of favoritism when y'all grow up. See, it's like, white kids learn it. Black kids are, don't talk back to their parents as much as y'all talk back to y'all. Right. So it's like a shock value, because, like, my mother used to come in the room on me and my white friends when we play video games and scare me to death. Nice. And just scares to, you know, we'd be in the room playing the game. She'd come bust the door open. Boy, I thought I told you to clean this room. You better clean that room before I take that Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck, and shove it up yo. And I would get scared. Sure. I'm, scared. Wife, I'm scared now. Yeah. Would, no, no, but, <laughs> but my white friend would turn to me and get offended. Like, dude, what is she doing? She can't do that. This is your room. This is your space. <laughs> She's violating your privacy. <laughs> you should say something. You want me to go say something? Right. And I would be so scared, man. I start talking to him like a slave from Roots. I'd just be like, you just gonna get me some troubles? <laughs> you gotta get away from him. My parents is good black folk. They gives me food. <laughs> they gives me sleep. So you gonna get from him. <laughs> they get him. Mm -hmm. They get him. <laughs> it's scary, man. It's scary. It's scary. 
It gives me sleeps. It gives me sleeps. <laughs> my favorite line I've heard in a while. Uh, <laughs> Just don't, don't you say that. No, don't. no, I won't, I won't. <laughs> I'll say it while you're here and then never right, again. Right, right. Now, uh, you live in Los Angeles, yes. of course. Uh, are, you, are you a Lakers fan? Uh, you know what? I, I'm a basketball fan. Right. I, I appreciate Shaq, but uh, I'm, I'm glad he's gone. You're glad you know? that he was Yeah, because Shaq, Shaq gives the longest interviews known to man. I mean, he is the slowest talking guy in the NBA. He takes two weeks to answer one question. It's like, you know, Shaq, you and Kobe are feuding. What's going on? I want to talk over you. I'll talk over you. <laughs> Shaq talks, they should have the words with the bouncing ball. Everybody yeah. It's crazy, man. I think Shaq and Tyson are in the hall and want to speak to you. I'll take Shaq any day. He's okay. a big kid. He's fun. All man. right, all right. Now, uh, do you think uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, living out in Los Angeles, do you think Governor Arnold is doing a good job? You know what? Actually, I, I think he is. Uh, you know, his movie career was kind of, towards the end, was kind of right. fading a little bit. But it's amazing to me that a guy made $20 million a film for always sounding like he was in excruciating pain. Right. You know, just, uh, Come here, get down. <laughs> get down, get down. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it was, it was really weird to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, it's like, you know, I want to see him blow up stuff. I don't want to see him do movies where he has like these serious dramatic tones. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger is a father trying to get in touch with his long lost son. And he just happens to be, you know, the coach of his, uh, you know, baseball team right, too. Right. Billy, if you want to win, you got to want it. <laughs> Out of the park. I know I wasn't always a good daddy, but I'm here for you now. Oh. <laughs> no one wants that. That's not good. Not believable. Wow. Not believable. Uh, hey, I want to make sure I mention this. Aries is performing next Wednesday through Sunday at Caroline's yes. Comedy Club, and the new CD, I Ain't Scared, is available at AriesSpears.com. Aries, come back anytime you Thank want. You're a very funny guy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sahara Hot Nights. Hi, everybody. We are back. Hi, everybody. That is our show. Do you want to thank my guest? Big thanks to Ari Spears for being so funny. Excellent job. Thanks also to Jada Pinkett Smith for being here. <laughs> Sahara Hot Nights. Max Weinberg of the Max Weinberg 17 for last call with Carson Daly. We'll see you Monday. Have a good weekend. <laughs>